Joining us now is Aditya Sood. He is the winner of the MRS Postdoctoral Award. Congratulations. Thanks so much. And, uh, you know, this is a mouthful, this award that you're being um, cited for. Um, for pioneering correlated dynamic structure and transport studies and the discovery of a new electrically triggered metastable phase in an operating device. So tell us what your work is and exactly how you got into it. Yeah, thanks. Um, so my work is sort of in a big picture way, it's about dynamic phenomena in materials. So I'm really curious about how materials at the atomic scale transform from one state to another, right? So this is kind of exciting for me for two reasons. One is from the application standpoint, it allows you to make quantitative statements about how quickly you can switch a device. So we all want our devices and our phones and laptops to work faster, uh, but the sort of limiting time scale is governed by the material, right? How quickly can you move items from one side to another side? So that, that kind of determines how quickly you can change the state of your device. Uh, from a fundamental standpoint, it's kind of exciting to me because it allows us to explore new uh, states of matter. So these states of matter are not things that you can make in the lab by tuning temperature or pressure or composition but these states of matter are created under some external stimulus like an optical pulse or an electrical pulse and only exist for maybe a few billions of a second, right? So my work is about trying to uh, come up with ways to visualize and control these really short-lived states in materials. Um, so, the, so the citation you refer to is for a particular piece of work that we did recently uh, where uh, my collaborators and I developed this new kind of camera, so to speak, to uh, make atomic scale movies of uh, electronic devices as they're being switched from one state to another. So you can imagine that you have a device which has a zero state and a one state, and the, the atomic structure of these two states is slightly different, ever so slightly different. So this new technique now allows us to actually visualize uh, how the atoms move from state A to state B, uh, and what happens in between, which is the part that I'm excited about. Uh, and then we also are able to, for the first time, correlate uh, you know, the changes in the structure of the material, so movement of the atoms versus time, um, to how the electronic properties change, so how the, the electronic resistivity changes as a function of it. So we can actually sort of, you know, make a one-to-one -one statement about how this device actually works. Um, so we kind of use this new kind of technique, which I can talk more about later, uh, to uh, image a new state in a certain material, uh, which kind of has a weird existence because it shares some similarities with the initial state, but then some other similarities with the final state, but it's neither of the two. So it's some sort of a metastable state, so to speak, because it only exists uh, while the material is excited with this electrical pulse. So it's kind of a, an interesting state of matter, so to speak. Yeah, and you talked about this, the movies part in That's your right. talk. Um, yeah, yeah. What was the biggest message or the takeaways that you want people to get from it? Yeah, so I think the part that I'm really excited about is this idea that, you know, uh, for, for quite a few years, we have had this field called ultrafast physics, which is uh, the physics of systems excited by light primarily. Uh, and then there's this whole separate field of device engineering. You know, as electrical engineers, we like to make and characterize electronic devices. Uh, but what's exciting to me is now that we can explore for the first time the intersection of these two fields. So we can look at ultra-fast dynamics of atoms uh, inside operating devices. Um, so the message of my talk yesterday was, now that we have this new kind of camera, so to speak, uh, we can make quantitative statements about how, uh, how devices function. Uh, a, how quickly they can possibly transition from one state to another. So what's the fastest possible time scale on which you can switch an electronic bit from zero to one, which is something we all want, we all want our laptops to work faster. Uh, the other statement we can make is about potentially new ways to come up with um, uh, energy efficient switching. So how can you use the least amount of energy to make an to make something go from zero to one state. So I think these are sort of the two main takeaways. And Very cool, amazing work. Looking forward to seeing how it progresses uh, beyond your postdoctoral work. Thank you. So congratulations again. Thanks so much. <laughs> I appreciate it.